Well, this is along College Avenue near MLK. Take a look. You can clearly see those tire tracks here in this grassy area. They start over there where the SUV hopped up the curb, went all the way over here. And then if you look closely, you might be able to see some of those tire tracks even going on the street. This is the area where those suspects came flying through earlier this morning before ditching that SUV and running away. This is exclusive video of 36 year old Kevin Jackson Jr. being taken into custody shortly after he and another suspect broke into a home and then led police on a chase. Instead of going straight to jail, Jackson was taken to Broadlawn's medical center because he told officials he had asthma and was having a hard time breathing after ditching his Chevy Tahoe and running away. Yeah, he came from Martin Luther King. Jumped the fence. Virgil Bright was outside with his granddaughter when Jackson came charging through his yard. Because I had so many people walking through here, I tell them don't come through the yard because of the kids. But he come flying through. I can tell you, he was moving so fast. <laughs> I just happened to say, hey man. And then the police come right in behind him. Des Moines police say Jackson and another suspect stole several tires and an air compressor from this home in the 1900 block of 23rd Street around 11 o'clock Saturday morning. Bright says he's never seen anything like that in the 20 years he's lived here and is just thankful his granddaughter wasn't hurt. She was scared because she'd never seen nothing like that before. And Jackson is at the Polk County Jail right now, charged with third degree burglary, driving with a suspended license, interference with official acts, as well as reckless driving. As far as that other man, the other suspect, again, police are still looking for him right now, but they do not believe he is armed or dangerous. Live in Des Moines, Kim Sainange, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.